Hello guys, welcome to the last video in this series. So this is the last uh, question we're going to work out on circular motion. We're going to move on to um, a different set of questions. So we're going to have another introduction video to, to our next uh, next concept. So yeah, I hope you've had time to go through this question. Um, yeah, and, and you tried it. So this time we just wanted to work it out together and see if uh, we are going to come up with uh, with the same, the same, the same materials. Okay. So um, what the question is asking us to find is uh, we're basically looking at uh, the process that is used to, uh, yeah, to, to we're talking about something that separates, uh, uh, well, like plasma, the contents of, of a cell. So the question is saying a, a blood sample is placed in a centrifuge, and then we're given the the radius of the, the centrifuge. So the, the mass of a red blood cell is given to us, and then they want they're also given the magnitude of the force uh, acting on it as it settles out of the plasma. So now we're looking at um, a red blood cell uh, that has to settle out of the plasma. So um, the centrifuge is rotating, and then they want us to find um, the revolutions per second given the force. So uh, this, this question becomes um, pretty basic if you just understand what you have to do. Now, since this is a rotation, uh, and then I'm given the radius, uh, so all you have to, to notice is uh, what you're looking for is actually given by the centripetal force given by uh, mass, the tangential velocity squared um, over, over R. Now, we're given the force, uh, the force of rotation uh, that, that is required for, for the process to take place. But then what we want is an angular velocity. So this one gives us uh, um, a tangential velocity. So I want to just convert that tangential velocity into um, a rotational uh, velocity, which is an angular velocity. So we call that Vt is equals to R omega. So we can just substitute this in our equation. Now we have Fc is equals to m r squared omega squared over r. And then you guys can easily see that this is fc is equals to m r omega squared. So from here, we want omega. So we make it the subject of the formula, divide both sides by m r. This becomes fc over m r is equals to omega omega squared, square root both sides. Now we have the square root of fc over m r. This is what gives us omega. Now, so I can easily write this as omega is equals to um, the square root of Fc over mr. Now from the question, these quantities are given. Um, we have the radius is given as um, 15 centimeters. So this is the radius of the centrifuge. And then apart from this, we also have the mass of um, of a cell, of a red blood cell. This is given to us as three by 10 to the power negative 16 kgs. And then apart from that, we're also given the, the force that is required to actually make this process take place. This is given to us as four by 10 to the power negative 11 newtons. So now when we substitute these quantities, we now have omega, is equals to the square root of centripetal force four by 10 to the power negative 11. And then this is divided by the mass that is three by 10 to the power negative 16. And then this is multiplying the radius. The radius is given in centimeters. So in meters, that is 0 0.15 uh, meters. So when we perform this calculation, we can quickly just verify this. So this gives us, um, that's 942.8 radians per second. Okay, but then the question wants the number of revolutions per second needed. What we have is in radians per second. So we need to convert this from radians per second to um, revolutions per second. So I hope you guys know how to do this by now, All right? So you can quickly, can quickly try and uh, do that. Um, if, um, yeah, you can actually try it out if you didn't finish working out the question. 
So you can try to just perform that conversion. I can just get the question for you. So try to actually just convert it. So we're trying to convert 942.8 radians per second. So you just pause the video and try to try to convert it. All right, so I hope you did try, you, you actually tried and now yeah, thumbs up to those who managed. Um, let's let's uh, try to work it out together. So that is 942.8, 942, just make sure this is clear, 42.8 radians per second. So we want this in revolutions. So this is basically 942 rand per second. And then we want to multiply this. So I want to convert to revolutions. So my converter, since I want to move from radians, I'm going to have the radians down here. The revolution is going to be up. So I know in one revolution, I have two pi radians. So this is how I'm going to convert. So the radian will, come, will cancel out with the radian. Now it's basically just a division of, uh, this is 942, 248. This has to be divided by uh, two pi. And then what I get is in revolutions per second. So when I perform the division uh, to three significant figures, I get 150 revolutions per second. So this becomes the number of revolutions that the centrifuge has to be rotating per second. All right, you guys, um, I hope you are able to follow. I hope this was helpful. We've come to the end of this series. So if you've got any other questions that you'd want me to, to, to record and upload for you, you can just forward them to, to my email in the description. Otherwise, if you found this video helpful, I'll leave a like. And if you don't want to, to miss any of my future videos, you can just subscribe and um, hit that notification bell so that you are updated or you are alerted every time when I make an upload. All right. This was your tutor. Next time.